Let's look at the tools used in this video for the installation of our horn. Quarter inch or 5 16 inch drill bit, 13 and 14 millimeter wrenches, and at least one zip tie. As always, let's do our safety jingle. Before you walk on your car, do these safety things before you start. Turn on the car, parking brake down, flip your switch to dome mode, and disconnect your battery. Hey, this is Paul from Streetwise Carts, and before we jump in, I just want to let you know that this video is part of our free street legalization mini course available at streetwisecarts.com. Signing up for this course also gives you our downloadable parts buying worksheet. This free mini course is the installation portion of our full street legalization course that goes over all the state paperwork and compliance issues that you need to be aware of when converting your golf cart to a street legal LSV. You can find a link to the free mini course along with the 10% off coupon for a full street legalization course right down below this video. All right, let's jump back in. Here's the horn that was included in my street legal kit. We have the horn itself with two spade connections, the hardware including a locking nut, two washers, and a bolt, and a wire harness adapter. The most common place to mount the horn is somewhere on the frame and the horn should be facing forward away from the cart. If you can find a pre-drilled hole or an existing bolt that you can use, I'd recommend that. On my cart, there really wasn't a good hole or bolt to use, so I'm gonna drill a hole in the frame. But before I do that, I'm gonna hook up the wiring to the main wiring harness, fish the wire, and then connect the horn. The horn connection on the wiring harness is a small triangle input that sits alone on the harness. I'm going to pass this wire through one of the holes for the floor mat plugs. It's big enough hole that I should be able to fit the wires and the fastener plug when I put the mat back on. Now that I've pulled the wire long enough to reach my horn, I can connect the adapter and plug in the other end to my horn. If you're wondering, it doesn't matter which wire goes into which terminal of the horn. Now I'm ready to drill my hole. I'm going to make the hole at least a quarter inch wide in this flat crossbar on my frame. With my hole in place, I can now mount the horn. There's some loose wire here, so I'm going to zip tie just to ensure that it doesn't go anywhere. With my horn all hooked up, I can give it power and test it out. 